friends, it's Allison Okamitsu here from NicePeopleStamp.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and today I've got, well tonight, it's actually, this is way later than I usually do my Facebook Lives, but I was going to film a video for YouTube tonight and I thought, why don't I just pop on Facebook Live, see if anyone's there, create the card live, and then I'll upload the video to YouTube later. So whether you're watching via Facebook Live, or on the replay, or on YouTube, or even on my blog, welcome. I'm happy you're here, and we're gonna create a really beautiful card tonight. This is one of those cards that's like, breathtaking. I think so. I love it. I hope you guys really love it. So let me just get this pulled up on my iPad here so I can see if we have anyone here or see any comments. All right. So when you get here, make sure you say hello. Hi, Cindy and Danny. Great to see you both here. Yes, make sure you say hi when you get here. I love to know where you guys are tuning in from. And you can always on my Facebook Lives win when you share my video. So when you share my video publicly on Facebook, I draw a name out of the people who have shared to win a prize from me, which is some handmade cards. So I hope that you will do me that favor in helping me share Stampin' Up! And in return, I will put you in the draw for some cards. Okay, oh, we have quite a few people here tonight. So we have Sandra, hi Sandra, and Linda, and Deborah, and Diane. Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. This is totally an unscheduled, not announced Facebook Live, so I'm not really sure how many people will be joining me. I wanted to make sure that I did mention a couple of things before we get started on our card today. So my upcoming paper crafting retreat, the registration is closing soon on September 24th, I believe, and it's for a two nights, sort of three days, uh, scrapbooking, card making, crop slash retreat. So it's going to be in Canmore, Alberta. I'm so excited. And the retreat is almost full. So if you're hoping to attend, which I hope you are, then make sure you check out the retreat website, which is nicepeoplestampretreats.com because again, that registration will be closing very soon and I do only have a handful of spaces left. So if you need a getaway this fall, I would love for your getaway to be at my retreat where I can pamper you all weekend long. Okay, hello Arlene. So another bit of news, if you watched my Facebook Live on Friday, then you know that the Country Home online class is open for pre-order, but pre-orders are closing tomorrow. I'll be placing this order late tomorrow night. So, well, probably around eight actually. I like to sort of get it in before I have to start worrying about it, you know? So if you're interested in the Country Home online class, make sure that you sign up for that ASAP because I don't want you to miss out. I love this class, it's absolutely gorgeous perfect for fall. And the reason I'm having a really short window for this class is I want to make sure that everyone gets their supplies in time for Thanksgiving. So if they want to create maybe some table decor or home decor or cards or anything like that, that you have your um, stamp set in time. Okay. So the country home stamp set is adorable. There it is right there. I won't even say adorable. It's like, it's gorgeous. So that is also the focus of the card we're making today. So I'm going to turn this camera down. I am going to show you the details of the online class, and then we're going to make a really beautiful card. I'm so excited to share it with you. This is what you pay for when you sign up for the online class. So you pay for the stamp set, for the Stampin' Blends, and the gorgeous galvanized buttons. These are really pretty. I love those. So that is what you pay for, plus tax and shipping. And then if you need it shipped from me to you, then that's an extra $15. It goes in a Canada Post tracked small, what is it? Small flat rate box, yes. So that is what you pay for. You just pay for this plus tax and shipping, okay? But what you receive from me, and this is the really fun part, is I send you all the supplies to make six 
absolutely gorgeous cards. So there's three designs and you're going to make two of each card. I send you everything you need. So you can see I have some pieces already embossed here. This is a new corrugated embossing folder. We're also using the tin tile embossing folder. So I send this all set up for you. Some of those new chicken wire elements. Eee! I'm glad I ordered a bunch of those already because they're already on back order. So any die cut pieces, it's all included. Some extra embellishments, linen thread, and some lace. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is what you receive free from me. And then I'll also email you a video so we can create the cards together. It's step by step. We make the cards together via video. So no matter where you live in Canada, you can stamp with me. So make sure you check out my blog. It is nicepeoplestamp.com. Again, this class will be closing tomorrow. So if you'd like to join me for this class, make sure you email me ASAP and I'll send you out a PayPal invoice. My email is Allison. A-L-L-I-S-O-N at nicepeoplestamp.com. So that's the details of the online class. And we are going to see just how gorgeous this color combination is, along with how incredible this stamp set is. Hello, Kayla. All right. So again, here's the stamp set we're using. It's called Country Home from Stampin' Up. Just gorgeous, great for fall. Great for really all year though, because I mean these fun vintage milk jugs, gorgeous. The foliage, gorgeous. So much fun here. Okay, but I want to get started on our card. So let's take a look at the paper pieces I have first. So this is my thick whisper white cardstock, and it's cut to four and a quarter by eleven. And scored at five and a half so that's going to be my card base okay and then hello all of our newbies I see you jumping on thank you for being here extra special welcome to my Canadian from Manitoba hello okay we have the gorgeous galvanized paper this stuff is to die for it's absolutely stunning and this piece is four inches by five and a quarter Okay. We also have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is three and a quarter by four and a half. I've got some of the gorgeous Wood Textures designer paper. This is three and a quarter by half an inch. And then I have a scrap of the thick Whisper White cardstock. Okay. Very important it's the thick because we're going to use the Stampin' Blends. Hi, Andrea. So great to see you. I hope I will see you in Orlando. All right. So let's get started here. I'm going to start with my <gasps> embossing paste. I love embossing paste. It's super fun. I'm just going to grab a scrap paper. So I just have a piece of my Stampin' Up! grid paper. And I'm going to use that piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I have the brick embossing, or mask, sorry. I wanted to call it an embossing folder, but it is not. Oh, yay, Andrea, I'm so glad I'll see you. Okay, so then we have our frost, no, this is regular embossing paste. This is just the plain white, okay? And then I have one of my palette knives. So what I wanna do here is open up the lid, Get a little bit of embossing paste onto my palette knife and then close up your lid right away, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my embossing paste and sort of pull it and drag it through that mask. I don't need my whole background cover. This is just meant to be a very rustic, sort of rustic chic look. So I'm not covering the whole thing. So you can see when I lift this off, I have these gorgeous, bricks in my background but of course I have some that are sort of half bricks partial bricks and that's exactly what I'm looking for so I'm going to set this aside to dry I'm just going to take my excess embossing paste I have and put it back in my container and then it's really important when you're using embossing paste that you clean your tools right away so what 
I do is I have a wet rag that I keep and I do dry it out between uses or else it would get stinky. So I just clean that off and then clean off my mask. Hi Randy! I'm so glad you're here. This is a totally unscheduled impromptu Facebook Live. So welcome. <laughs> okay, so all of my tools are clean now and I can put them away to use them for next time. Alrighty, so while we're waiting for that embossing paste to dry, I am going to emboss with the Big Shot on my galvanized paper. So what I wanna do, I'll bring in my Big Shot and I'm going to use the Tin Tile embossing folder. This is brand new in the holiday catalog. It is a stunner, you guys, it is gorgeous. So this is one of our dynamic embossing folders. So it's one of the larger ones. When you purchase your Big Shot, you get two cutting plates, a thin die adapter, and a doo -doo -doo Big Shot platform. We are just going to use the Big Shot platform and one of the cutting pads. So how we do this is we are going to put our galvanized paper inside the embossing folder, just like that. And then we are going to put it onto the Big Shot platform with one of the acrylic plates or cutting plates on top. And then we just roll it through using the handle. And you guys are gonna freak when you see this. It is so gorgeous. And then when we open it up, we have this absolutely stunning piece of galvanized paper with that tin tile embossed look. I just love this folder. You guys, I'm not gonna be able to stop using this one basically ever. It's amazing. All right, so let's get some of our pieces assembled here just to get them out of my way. So I've got my galvanized paper and I'm just gonna put that on top of my card base. Oh yes, Randy, you 100% need this embossing folder. It is the bee's knees. So let's put some snail on there. Right, Kayla? Kayla, it's awesome. I love, love, love this folder. I know that it's going to be very popular, so if it's on your list, I suggest you order early because I, I don't know, I of course I don't have any insider info, but I kind of think this is gonna be one of those things that sells out and goes on back order because it's just so stunning. So we'll see. Alrighty, so let's check on our bricks, see if they're, yeah, they're pretty good. So let's put on our, they're pretty dry. So we're gonna put on our little strip of the Wood Textures designer paper. And we're just gonna put that along the bottom here. Well, maybe put yours on straight if you're following along at home. <laughs> I was having a conversation with a friend earlier today about how, you know, it's easy to mess up on Facebook Live. And yes, it definitely is. And if you guys watch my live show, then you know that I definitely mess up. Okay, so let's put some dimensionals on the back of here. I'm gonna use up this little strip that's been hanging around. And then put some more on the back. You guys, I can't wait for you to see me put on this last thing. We have to color it first, but it just takes, oh, this card truly takes my breath away. I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. All right. All right, I can see that a lot more people are joining us. So if you're just joining on, make sure you say hello. I'd love to know where you're from. And as always, there is a prize for sharing today's video. So make sure you share today's video publicly on Facebook and I will enter you into the draw. Okay, so this is sort of our base, but we need a focal point. And do I ever have a focal point for you? So I am going to take my thick Whisper White cardstock and we are going to stamp two images. Oh, throwing things around. All right, so I have my big milk jug 
and I have my gorgeous florals. This is the one with the cotton tufts in it. Okay. And I also have a smoky slate ink pad. Hi, Beth from Nova Scotia. Okay, so first I want to stamp my milk jug. And you could stamp these two pieces touching and then cut them out, but I actually like to cut them out separately. And that way I have a little wiggle room. So I like to stamp them separate. So I'm just gonna stamp the jug and then the foliage. And that is in my Smoky Slate ink. Hello, Arlene. So many Canadians in the house tonight. Nice to see you here. Alrighty, I am also in Canada. I am in Calgary. So if you are looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator, of course. If you are in need of the holiday catalog, just let me know and I can send one your way. So don't you worry, I have some extras. Okay, so we are going to use some Stampin' Blends to color our images. And it's really cool what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how you can use the color lifter to really bring lightness and like a vintage vibe to your project, okay? Thank you so much, Cindy, for sharing. Okay, so what I wanna do is I only want to add my, this is my light smoky slate Stampin' Blend marker. And I'm just gonna add some color on one side of my milk jug and on the little handle, okay? So because the Stampin' Up! Classic ink pads are, they are water-based. You can use them with the Stampin' Blends. So you can play around and see which ones work well for you. I really like the lighter look of the Smoky Slate for my stamping. And then I can make my whole image a little bit lighter and airier. You're really going to see a difference. I'll show you some cards that I made on Friday. And you'll see a big difference between the two. Alrighty. So that was my light smoky slate. Then I'm going to come in with my color lifter. Think of this as like a stain removal pen, but it's also good for blending that line where I have my marker meet my white paper. So I'm just going in and swirling along that line to lighten it up. Using this method, it kind of looks like a hot mess before it looks better. So don't freak out. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? It looks terrible. But I promise it starts to look better. So we're just going to use that color lifter and blend that line a little. Okay. And then I just want to use the bullet tip to really sort of pull that color around. Okay, so we're really gonna see the full effect of this when it dries, okay? So now we can move on to, let me just lighten that area up a little bit. And I'm not worried about my Stampin' Blends bleeding at this point, I'm cutting these out. Normally I would be a little bit more careful and not add so much of the color lifter at one time, but because I'm cutting this image out, I'm really not worrying about it, okay? All right, so let's go in, let that, we'll let that dry up and see how it looks. And then we're going to go in and color our foliage. So I'm going to take that light smoky slate again and add some shading into my cotton. I absolutely adore this stamp. It's so gorgeous. All right. So I'm just adding a little bit down where the cotton meets the stem. Okay. And then I'm going to go in. Do you guys want to see this closer? Maybe I should. Do, do, do. Can you guys see that okay? Is that better? So you can really see what I'm up to. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my color lifter. And I'm going to lighten up that line again where those two colors meet. 
So the color lifter really kind of mutes the colors, which I really like, and you get a nice blend from the white cardstock into whatever color you are using of the Stampin' Blends. So I think you're really gonna like the look of this when I'm done. Especially since I've used the lighter ink, the Smoky Slate ink, to ink up my stamps. It really makes for a light and airy and really just quite stunning look when we're all done here. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our Dark Daffodil Delight. We're just going to color in these little berry looking things. There we go. And then we have this flower here that I'm going to add some color just in the center. And then again, I'm going to blend out that line with the color lifter. All right, you guys. Oh, I'm missing out on a whole bunch of comments here. Oh, are we talking about the forest fires in BC? I hope that they are improving. We have rain scheduled for Calgary tomorrow, so hopefully BC is getting rain and putting out some of those horrible fires, or at least helping them. Okay, so now I have most of my sort of bits and bobs colored. I don't know what most of this stuff is, but that's okay. It's a gorgeous set. Now I'm going in with my doo -doo dark crumb cake, and I'm going to color in these, I think they're seed pods. I don't know of what, but they're gorgeous, so let's just keep coloring. So we'll color those in. And I'm not going to color the whole thing. I'm just going to color part way. And then I'm going to take my color lifter again and just sort of blend that color, sort of lighten it up before it gets to the white of the cardstock. Okay, so just like that. And then we can do the same with the other one. It is a great stamp set, isn't it, Deborah? It's just gorgeous. I'd love to hear in the comments if you guys have this stamp set or if it was one that didn't really jump off the page at you when you got your holiday catalog because I'll admit it wasn't one that really was like a must have for me, but now that I have it and I've been playing with it, it's never leaving my collection. Like it's so, so gorgeous. It's just beautiful. All right, so now we can just lighten up that line there as well. Okay. And then now I have my dark mint macaron and I'm just going to color a little bit of the leaves where the leaves meet the stem. All up and through here. There's another one down here. There we go. And then again, I'm just going to take my color lifter and do a little bit of blending to lighten up that line in between the two. All right. Oh, you guys. Oh, so you guys do have this stamp set. Awesome. So Cindy has it. Andrea has it, and Danny is going to play with it at the retreat. Danny, I can't wait for the retreat. I'm so glad you're coming. It's going to be so fun. Okay, so there is our foliage all colored in and looking gorgeous. So there we can see it's just a really beautiful, soft and subtle look. And then here is our milk jug. And I'm going to go back in and just blend this out just a little bit in through here. And again, I wasn't worried too much about my color, like leaving the lines or anything, because I'm going to cut these out. So let me grab my scissors. And we are going to do just a little bit more stamping on that guy, because I want to put my sentiment on there. So let's grab out Yes, fussy cutting. I know. I'm, I love some fussy cutting. 
So Smoky Slate ink is back and we are just going to stamp this little label onto the milk jug, okay? And then I'm going to stamp the word thanks. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. All right, so now we can go in and fussy cut our flowers. So I like to leave myself somewhere to adhere my flowers to my jug. So I just cut a little tab along the bottom and then I'm just gonna go in and fussy cut. So I'm just going to add a little bit of snail onto that tab I left on my florals and I can position this exactly where I want it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so soft and subtle using that gray ink pad, excuse me, to ink up the stamp and then do our coloring really makes such a difference. So now I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. I'm going to use my large or regular size and also my minis. All right, so let's add a couple minis up near the top. Okay, so we'll remove our backings. There we go. And then this is going to go onto our card just like that. All right, do you guys love it? I hope you love it. I really love this card. Send me some love hearts if you think it's as gorgeous as I think it is. I hope you really like it. I just love the soft, subtle look of it all. The, the embossing in the background, the Stampin' Blends. Oh, thanks you guys, I can see all those hearts coming through. You guys are the best. So, and then of course our galvanized paper with our tin tile embossing folder. So I love this look, so soft and subtle. And I said that I was gonna show you sort of a comparison. So I did this card on my Facebook Live on Friday. So same stamp set, a lot of the same colors in the foliage, but look at the difference between stamping with the black opposed to the smoky slate. There's a really big difference there. I love both, don't get me wrong, but for a really soft and subtle striking card, keeping everything soft, the smoky slate really works well. I love that look. And I mean, this is striking as well, but in a different way. So very different just by changing the color of our ink pad before we do our coloring. All right, you guys, that's it from me tonight. I am happy I popped onto Facebook Live to share some crafting with you all. I've had a great time. I hope you've also had a great time. Don't forget, if you'd like to join me for the Country Home online class, all of those details are up on my blog. I will pop a link into the video description and the comments in just a moment. And you can see all the details on the online class. And again, this online class will be closing tomorrow evening. So if you'd like to join me, make sure that you sign up ASAP and I will send you a PayPal invoice. All right, everyone, one last close up. I hope you love it. Have a great night, everyone, and I will chat with you soon. You can always stop by my blog for a little more creative inspiration. And if you, if you missed the Facebook Live on Friday, the recording is posted on my blog. All right, everyone, have a great night. Bye-bye.